Dear children, now we are going to do that is subtraction of zero ending numbers. That is tens, hundred and thousand from the minus one, from other minus one. And this is a short way to write down the answer without your paper and pencil. You can calculate this in your mind. That is, it is uh, like that mental maths and how to calculate the number. Okay, let me do that is here. The six thousand two hundred and eighty-two minus ten. Okay, and other number that is one five thousand one hundred and seventy-five minus ten, and like the uh, six thousand eight hundred and uh, ten minus ten. Okay, let me do in a simple way. That is here the that is all these number is a ten. So you can. You should focus on the tens place number itself only. Okay, simply you can you can do that is six thousand two eighty two and minus ten uh, one. Uh, that is you have to no, no need of subtracting ones, tens, hundred and thousand column as a regrouping or any other previous technique. It is easy way. You can just you should focus only the tens place number. Here the tens place number is the ones, tens, hundred like the. So this is a tens place number here itself. So now you can this four in addition. You can write the next number of the uh, tens place number here because of this subtraction manipulation. So you have to write down this before number that is eight. That is before number that is seven. So write down this six two seven two. Okay, and that is five thousand one hundred and seventy five minus ten. You should focus on the number tens place number that is seven. So you can write this number. You should write the before number, okay? Because of this minus ten. So focus this. You have to write down this before number that is six. So the answer will be five one six five, okay? And six thousand eight hundred and ten minus ten, okay? Focus on the tens place number here that is one. That is minus before number. That is before one. That is zero. So you can that is six eight. That is zero zero. Okay. That is uh, easy way of uh, writing. That is subtracting subtraction of ten without any paper and pencil. Okay. Let me do next sum as a hundred same number. Okay. For subtracting. Subtraction of that is hundred. Okay, so so. Now we are going to do subtraction of hundred. So you should focus on the hundred place. Okay, hundred place of the number. This is a one ten hundred. So this is a hundred place number. So simply you can write down this because of the subtraction. You can write down this a before number of those hundred place number. So here that is two. That before number is one. That is six thousand. That is one eight. Two answer is six thousand two eighty two minus hundred means that is six thousand one hundred and eighty two. Okay, and similar to that of here, should focus on this number hundred place number that is a one. So you can write the before as in the number pretty pretty is a number. So that is before number that is zero. So you can write five zero seven five. So five thousand one hundred and seventy-five minus hundred. Answer will be five thousand seventy-five. Okay. And next, focus on this hundred place number here. Number is eight. So you can write that is six seven one zero. Okay. That is six thousand eight hundred and ten minus hundred means six thousand seven hundred and ten. This is the answer. And here that is one. So Minus that is one before number that is zero. So write down this two zero eighteen. So two thousand one hundred and eighteen minus hundred. Answer will be two thousand eighteen. So no need of 
pen and paper calculation you have to simply write down this answer directly and let me move on to the next number that is 1000 okay we can do the same number by changing only the subrahan this is a minor one and this is a subrahan suppose you have to subrahan or 1000 okay the answer will be how to write let me do now okay so focus on this number that is 1000 okay all underline this 1000 please number at all and write down this because of before 6 that is 5 so write down this 5 2 8 2 okay and that is 6282 minus 1000 answer will be 5282 okay now 5 what comes before 5 that is 4 so write down this here 4 1 7 5 so 5175 minus 1000 answer will be 4175 okay and let me do this sum that is 5 before numbers that is 6 that is 5 8 1 0 so 6810 minus 1000 answer will be 5810 and here 2118 so 2 that is the before number that is 1 that is 1 1 8 that is 2118 minus 1000 answer will be 1118 so this is a simple way to write down the uh, how to subtract the tens hundred thousand and from the uh, minor one okay and let me do next that is a estimating sum the estimating di the difference as we learnt in our addition topic that is estimation sum here we are going to do estimation difference okay let me see okay uh, let me recap our rounding of numbers nearest to 10 nearest to 100 and nearest to 1000 okay and now we are going to do that is estimation difference. Estimation difference as we took in our uh, addition topic the same that is a basket contain that is uh, 370 apples and 920 oranges. How many total fruits are there? Okay, let me uh, do uh, write the question that a basket contains okay that is uh, 370 apples okay and that is uh, total amount that is uh, a basket contains total fruits of among this 370 or apples and let me know the uh, what are the amount of the remaining fruits okay a basket contains different kinds of fruits that is apple and oranges okay that is a basket contain 370 apples and total fruits or that is 920 okay so a basket contain 370 apples and total fruits are 920 how many oranges are there how many oranges are there this is a real life sum that is one two contents are we know that and one one we can't that is you don't know the number of oranges okay can you understand this that is a basket contain total fruits 920 among this 370 only apples and you should calculate the number of oranges let me do we do not subtract the actual numbers let me subtract the estimation of numbers uh, that sh should be that is 920 okay 920 is the actual number and here actual number that is 370 that is you have to subtract this number 0 here you can't subtract the 2 and this is would be 8 and regroup that 812 ones uh, 12 tens so 12 minus 7 that is 5 
and here 8 minus 3 that is 5. This is the actual sum 550 actual difference amount. This is the number of oranges in that basket. But for estimation difference you have to rounding off this number that is 920. This is a tens place number is lesser than 5. So you can write this that is 900. Okay that is rounded off the nearest 10. Okay because of here that is a tens place number that is 2 that is less than 5. So write down this. Okay that before that is 900 nearest to 10 and that is a 370 that is 7 is more than 5. So you can write down this 400. This is the estimation amount as we did in our addition topic also and recap you are rounding off topic that is rounding off nearest to 10, nearest to 100, nearest to 1000 that means you can check out this tens place number whether it is a lesser than 5 that is a 900 this is 7 is more than 5 that is the nearest 10 that is 400 okay that is a nearest 100 so 3 plus 1 because this is a more than 5 so nearest 10 means that is 400 now you can you should subtract this number that is 0 and 0 9 minus 4 that is 5 that is a difference somewhat it is closure number that is 550 and 500 this is used in for that is time saving method and easy way to calculation and that is a estimation difference problem so in your uh, uh, textbook there are so many examples in your textbook so do that and uh, you, you should know the rounding of the number nearest 10 nearest 100 and nearest 1000 and let me one more uh, small topic that is by uh, checking of how to checking the subtraction sum whether it is correct or not by adding the difference and subtraction you can get the minus one okay let me do the next problem this is by checking of subtraction our topic is checking of subtraction as we learnt in our properties of subtraction I said that is a uh, we should calculate the minus one value by adding the difference and subtraction this is the same technique how to check the whether our subtraction is right or wrong I will explain with example that is uh, here that is 5000 okay minus 3000 okay equal to that is 2000 okay 5000 minus 3000 equal to 2000 so here this is a minus one and this is a subrahan and this is a difference okay your subtraction whether the answer is the correct or not you have to by that is addition of this difference and subtraction you can get this number your subtraction sum is correct okay by this doing you can do here that is 2000 plus that is subtraction 3000 the answer will be the 5000 so this sum is our subtraction sum is Correct. That is uh, by checking of subtraction you can add that is our formula to prove the formula minus 1 is equal to subtraction plus difference. This is a uh, by checking method. To prove your subtraction sum is whether it is right or wrong. By simply you can add the difference with subtraction. If you get the mind when correct your answer your calculation is correct. Okay somewhat you have to when you add this difference and subtraction you can't get the mind when somewhat you did any mistake in the calculation. Okay by simple way of checking subtraction. 
So today we have discussed the terms of subtraction and the properties of subtraction and without regrouping subtraction sums and what is regrouping and how to subtract different column that is ones, tens, hundred like that and real life application in subtraction and the uh, that, that is subtract you have to subtract tens, hundred, thousand how to do in your mind without any uh, pencil or paper that is uh, mental maths technique okay and uh, finally that is the estimation difference we have we won't we won't subtract the real number but rounded off the number and subtract the answer okay that also we have learned the estimation difference and finally this is a simple technique to check out your subtraction is whether it is right or wrong simply adding the difference and subtraction you can get the mind back okay so uh, we have discussed so many uh, subdivisions in subtraction children Thank you.